Our next guest is an Emmy Award-winning actor you know from his work on Will and Grace and American Horror Story. He stars in Call Me Cat, which airs Thursday nights on Fox. Please welcome to the show, Leslie Jordan. How are you, Leslie? I'm good. Thank you for having me. I, you know, I hope I'm, I hope I'm right in saying this. It seems like a very good time to be Leslie Jordan. Well, I don't know. Give me a good pandemic and I seem to flourish, <laughs> which is an awful thing to say, but... I just have done so well during this uh, 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 this time that uh, it's amazing. Well, what well I've one of the things you did was you you found your way onto Instagram and uh, you provided a lot of uh, joy and comfort to people who were looking for it during this really troubling time. And you know, I really didn't set out to do that. I was stuck in Tennessee at my mom's house, my mom and my sweet mom, and I was going crazy. And I had I had not been on Instagram for a while, I mean, I, I, about a year, uh, about two years ago, I was on a TV show called The Cool Kids, and um, the uh, head of publicity would, uh, at the time, would tell me, post, you know, that funny thing you said, post this, and I thought, I didn't know what she was talking about. I really didn't, I thought maybe she meant post-its, the little <laughs> yellow things, and so she said, no, you need to put that on Instagram, and, and then she looked at me, she said, you don't have an Instagram account, do you? And I said, no, ma'am, I don't, and so they, opened me one and within a week I had 20,000 followers <laughs> and I couldn't shut up about it. I said, can you believe 20? They said, that's, that's nothing compared to what you can have. And then Megan Mullally from Will and Grace posted, reposted something of mine. I jumped to 80,000 followers <laughs> and I couldn't believe it. And then when the, when the, uh, when the uh, stay at home orders happened and I didn't have anything to do, I was in Tennessee. I started posting twice a day, just silliness just silly stuff. And my friend called from California. He said, you've gone viral. I said, no, honey, I'm in Tennessee with my mama. I'm fine. I don't have COVID. He said, no, you've gone viral on the internet. And now here we go. I don't know, 5.6 million. I have no idea. That's I just, you fantastic. know. fantastic. It's well deserved. You mentioned being in Tennessee uh, with your mom and, and your twin sisters as well, correct? Yes, I have identical twin sisters who are 22 months younger than me, and they live with mom, and it's like a dog and pony show. I bought them a really pretty house. The b best thing I ever did as an adult, looks like Laura Ashley threw up in there, <laughs> but it's just uh, precious, and uh, I get back there quite a bit <laughs> to say mama and them, as we say in the South. <laughs> are they happy to see you when you come home? Oh, they are. You know what, I, when we were growing up, my sisters got all the attention. I think that's what's wrong with me. <laughs> identical twins and mother back then, you know, in the 50s and 60s, would put them in little outfits that matched and people would ooh and ah, and I'd be over there pulling out my PP and turning cartwheels, whatever I could think of. Somebody please look at me, look at me. So, uh... <laughs> no, Leslie, you first made your way, uh, I was it directly from Tennessee to Los Angeles in the 80s? I did, I took a, a Greyhound bus. I had, it was 1982. My mother sewed $1,200 that I'd saved waiting tables into my underpants. <laughs> and I got, I got off at the corner of DeLong Prey and Vine, which is a block below Hollywood and Vine, which is the story of my life and my career, one, <laughs> one block below. But, um, and I just, I, you know, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know how it happened. It just happened. You know, I just hit town at a time when, uh, there was a lady named Clara Peller out of Chicago on a Wendy's commercial. She said, where's the beef? And all of a sudden, they all wanted, you know, uh, character actors. And I started doing commercials and this and that. And, uh, and then I got on Murphy Brown. And uh, I'll give you my whole resume if you want me to. <laughs> anyway, I, well, are you happy to be back on a sitcom now? Uh, this one, you know, I told my ambiolic, uh when I first started working on the show, I said, you know, this is, this is the best show I've been on. She said, oh, I said, no, I'm, I'm having more fun right now. I don't know if it's because I'm 65 and I've done it all, you know, and now I'm just ready to have a good time. But it's so beautifully written. Darling Hunt that created it. Um, I play a character that's so close to me. I'm not even really acting. I thought the other day, why is this so easy? I thought, because you're just out there, you know, being yourself. And, um, we have such a great cast that we have a really, really good time. And I think it comes through. Uh, I hope it just runs forever. 
Another exciting thing you have coming up is uh, you're writing a book of essays. Uh, this won't be your first book, though. How, how did the previous efforts go? Well, my last book was called My Trip Down the Pink Carpet. And I had some axes to grind. You know, I was raised in the Baptist church, and uh, I've, I've been baptized 14 times. Every time the preacher would say, would the law center come forward, I'd go forward. Because uh, he said, I believe I baptized you this summer. I said, well, I don't think it took. <laughs> but I had some axes to grind. So I wrote. This time, I just thought, I'm going to just sit down and write some funny stories about little lessons I've learned along the way. And I'm so tickled with the way it turned out, and the publishers are, are over the moon with it. I think it's going to come out on Mother's Day, which is a wonderful tribute to my mother. So it's a good time to be Leslie Jordan. It's just a good time. <laughs> you also, uh, you used to do uh, uh, one-man shows. You would do quite a fair amount a year. Whew. I do 45 venues a year. I trotted from one end of this country to the other. I would tell, you know, funny stories. And I was the only one really doing what I was doing at the time because what I would do is I would go to gay bars usually and tell them, listen, you take the, uh, you take the bar. I'll get them all in here and I'll take the gate. We'll charge them 20 bucks. We'd do some horse trading and I'd walk away four or $5,000 in a night. And so I just went, you know, uh, gay bar to gay bar to gay bar, <laughs> doing that for years. Oh, gosh. I don't have to do that anymore. I got a few dollars in the bank now. I don't have to do that. Well, I'm sorry I <laughs> missed I, my opportunity to see it. Uh, it must have been something, but I can't wait uh, to read your book. And, and Leslie, uh, please do come back soon. This has been an absolute delight. I would love to. Thank you so much for having me.